Hi there, John Frank here with Remax Professionals, and I'm out of all out of uh, goodwill with the old turkey, the cat there. And your Friday afternoon public service announcement today: we're we're dealing with uh, continuing our tiki theme. I noticed the tiki shirt. It's called Doctor Funk. Doctor Funk apparently was a real is the real deal. He was a doctor in the South Pacific, and he he treated a fair bit of depression with well liquor. Um, and uh and this and everyone seemed to in that tiki era seemed to have a version of this uh dr funk funk cocktail uh so we'll just we'll just crack on with this um cocktail itself uses uh a fair bit of uh crushed ice of course or pebble ice uh you could do this in a in a flash blender if you wanted to uh just uh, just a Get yourself sorted out there um, and get more aeration into it. Uh, but we'll just we'll just do it like this. We've got a couple of agitator cubes in there. They're big cubes that we put into the uh, into the into the, the mixing tin. Um, anyway, so we'll just uh, we'll crack on. So uh, half an ounce half an ounce of lime juice and half an ounce of lemon juice in this cocktail. Fabulous. Quarter ounce of absinthe, right? A little bit goes a long way with this. This is a pretty high test stuff, uh, made in the U.S. This stuff of all of all uh, of all places, a uh, sixty percent by volume. Um, it is definitely eyeball searing. So here's a quarter ounce of that. Don't need any more. Right, and that's just for that pastis flavor, and this one's got it in, in, in abundance. Um, we have an ounce and a half of uh, a, a, a blended black rum. I'm using a Jamaican rum. Uh, you could also use Gosling's rum. I think that's from Bermuda. But uh, the Jamaican rum, if we're going to have funk in our, in our cocktail, it's got to have, like a Jamaican rum is full of funk and flavor and all right so we are there 45 mil so an ounce and a half all right and three quarters of an ounce of grenadine to get this sucker going yeah oh, there's this is a homemade grenadine. Uh, thank you, Anders Erickson, for your grenadine recipe. So there is one more ingredient, which is soda water. It only calls for an ounce of this, but we're going to put that on at the end because you know what happens when you shake a tin of soda water and then open it up. Kaboom! The same thing happens with your cocktail. Strain this bad boy out into here. We could garnish with some mint, but I think there'll be plenty of mint in the old, uh, from the old absinthe there. Mint and pastis. Oops. Forgot to leave space for the soda water. Pretty good without the soda water. Real men, I've been told, don't use straws, but we'll just take a take a bit off the top. With one of these straws, and get the soda water in. And that's quite good. One ounce. Here we are. Now we'll give it a stir. And thank you, Richard Dushevny. Um We won't use this. <laughs> what? That's good enough. 
well. That is a shockingly well-balanced cocktail. It was balanced before the soda water, but I could have a couple of those in an evening. The grenadine gives that sweet tart, and of course the you know the lemon, the lemon and the lime. Yummy, yummy. So, actually, in a pinch, if your lemons are a little old but still juicy, half a lemon gives you almost exactly just a little bit more than half an ounce, and. Uh, and a half a lime, a nice and juicy one, gives you, if you, if you have them room temperature, uh, it gives you about half an ounce as well. So there you go. All right, you folks, uh, let, you know, as per usual, we'll attach this to the recipe. I uh, hope you had a fabulous uh, Canada Day um, two weekends ago. And um, yeah, we'll look forward to any commentary moving forward and of course suggestions. And thank you, Richard Deshevny, for uh, pointing out the Clover Club, that sucker is coming to you probably closer to the fall. We're really into tiki right now, but if you have a tiki uh, tiki drink that you'd really like to see, please let me know. Um, all right, so you all stay safe out there and have fun, and uh, see you next week.